How amazing is it to be a mama? I've never been so present or in love or challenged in my whole life. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. And I know one of the other things that we can all relate to is just when you think you've got a routine, it all changes. So the new rule is that there are no rules. So that also applies to his skin. Of course, when I saw a little redness on these cute thighs, I wanted to fix it straight away. But um, what I'm finding is that if you take a sort of three day interval approach to anything new on their skin, seem to get better results. So what I did was first of all uh, use eco disposable nappies at night so those seem to keep the moisture away more than the cloth nappies at night and I have learned a few really great tips from midwives. One of them was um, as soon as baby has done a poo or a wee just whip their nappy off and dip them in a bucket of nice filtered warm water. And that seems to help. Just keeping the area really dry is always good. I made some um, of my own powder, which is just organic potato flour. That's been really good. Colloidal silver is also really good, just to give him a little spray. No, it's nice just to spray his groin area with the colloidal silver. I also made a product especially for Willem. It's a baby butter. I ended up using it more than he did. You can read about that in my blog. Really great for nappy areas and keeping the skin protected and hydrated, and soothed. We use amazing quality organic herbal extracts including calendula, chamomile, cacao butter, pawpaw. Just really high concentrated, good quality ingredients that the skin can recognize very safe for him. I also use this on my nipples um, just because there's times when it feels really tender and I find that if I just apply it once the next day I'm, I'm right again. So I feel really confident that this is something that he can ingest if I do have residue on my nipples. So this is one product that you can try. I've also been using in amongst that the repair intensive. So sometimes just when he has a little bit of dry skin, I just put it on my hands. I think it's nice on his face too, where he's got some um, milk rash and a little bit of redness from teething. That's pretty much it. Um, so every three days I might change it up. The other product that I used from Avoi is the face and body exfoliate. I actually use that on his cradle cap. So far I've only done one application and it seems to have gotten rid of most of it. So the other thing that I did thanks to a dear friend's suggestion was to just sit him on the potty. Um, I started doing that at about eight weeks. She said essentially babies poo and wee after they've had a feed. So just sit him on there and see what happens. I also did a little baby sign language with him uh, for poo on the potty and he knows that symbol now, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> His little red cheek. Oh, it's so hot, isn't it, with him? He's teething. <laughs> I realised essentially was to be gentle with myself and to nurture myself as well as my little baby. I'm sure Willem's preference is to have a relaxed mummy. Yeah, that gives me the motivation and inspiration to just keep looking after myself, nurturing, so that I can celebrate life with this little guy. So I hope that Evoe can support you in a time when you really need support and always remember to put your hand up and ask for help because there's a lot of people who are willing to offer it and you just have to ask. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you've got any questions or concerns, please give us um, a shout out here at Avoe.